Hello friends, welcome back to a new episode of the Cheesiest Man Alive and the Cheesiest Man Alive is I, it's your boy Harstam coming right at you. Today we're doing a, uh, let's call it a Stargate-focused series of Cheesiest Man Alive. Um, I don't really care what I build out of the Stargate as long as there's a Stargate and it's close to my opponent's side of the map. I actually have a build against in the PvT matchup that I can't wait to try. Um, and here we're just going to start with a, a Void Rail and this is probably the least common all-in in this matchup. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. It just means that other people might not see the value in it as much as I do. So we're going to get double adapts. Going to get this Stargate thing out as well. And then I think I want to cut workers from here on out. There's no real reason for me to get a whole lot more workers than this. The beauty of playing Adept Void Ray is that it really allows you to, you know, kind of abuse the ramp of your opponent. What the hell is this crap? Okay, sentry first. Well, I can't really abuse the ramp if, if there's nothing there, of course. It's not quite how it works, but... Sentry first, battery in the main base. Oh, he finished this. This is a very odd start altogether. Let me just get a void ray out. A couple more adepts as well. And I just want to continue just adding in more and more adepts. It wouldn't surprise me if there's like a, a probe hidden somewhere. He comes in. To try and clear my you know, to build a cybernetic score so i can never expand this problem is just that i'm really never planning on expanding anyway so i'm blocking my expansion this is a 300 mineral set you know i'm willing to take if you're willing to give it to me i'm willing to take it buddy i also saw the first sentry which means that i don't really have to worry about any adepts running past me i, I don't think that's a, a realistic scenario at all here and we're just gonna move in. I wonder if he's planning on expanding. I really wonder what the plan is here for my opponent. It actually kind of sucks as well that there's nothing here. I, I wish there was something there to kill. No, I don't ever actually have a wall to take out. There's a lot of units, what the hell? Five stalkers, one sentry. That's some serious crap, no? Let's see if I can, uh, can kill this thing. Is he gonna build another pylon? He is. I mean, I don't really care too much about that, do I? I can just kill it again. Another hundred minerals down the drain. At that point you can basically afford a nexus. Does he have twilight here or what's the... He, if he doesn't have a twilight, I'm zero worried. I haven't seen a twilight yet. What is, what is this over here? Let's just see if we can get some information on the other side. Okay, this also doesn't feel too bad, honestly. Yes, I'm gonna lose a couple of workers. Maybe I should have done a slightly better job there. But at the same time, this is completely okay. Yeah, this is completely okay. My next Void Ray pops out. Wait, he's gonna actually try and move down right now. He has so many freaking Stalkers. He's just three gating. So what's the... I wonder what the grand plan is over here. I know for a fact that there's a pylon still somewhere on the map. This is going to be the third pylon we get to take out pretty much for free. Important to always note that this is pretty much for free. And then we're just going to try and find this pylon that I know is out here somewhere. I really, like, I'm i 100% sure that there's a pylon here. Because how else did these adepts make it out of the base? Oh, that wasn't quite brilliant. Okay, here we go. Let's kill this. I think I probably can just win this fight now. Oh, I can definitely win this fight. Oh my god, we're owning this fight. Does he have blink? Why is he moving here? Why are you moving here? Oh, yeah, he does have blink. So, I was right about that too. Does he have a nexus? If he has a nexus, then that would be real interesting. Okay, I, I don't think he has a, has any batteries here. But he could just win the game, no? That's one. That's another one. Should I finish this? Or did I shoot? That thing's still up. It's really important to keep these uh, void rays alive. Maybe I can clear another pylon. So I haven't quite cleared enough yet for free. Okay, got a kill in here. I just expanded because I had the money for it. Like I, you know, I, I was just making cash by killing his pylons. Oh, he actually blinked in. Which is interesting because it might actually be a good move. Quite a bit there that belonged to me. So we need a robotics facility at home. We're just gonna shade in. 
And we're just gonna continuously do that, really. That's the entire plan. So he can chase me right now. Well, that's the end of this plan as well, because I can't finish anything. I, I probably just need to go home. I probably just need to go home, actually. I want some batteries. We want some sentries, because he's gonna blink forward at some point. Let's make sure that I scout what's kicking off completely. Yeah, he thinks this is important. Is he gonna blink on top of it? He might, he might be tracking me. He wasn't tracking me. Not a battery. Let's go to the top of this ramp, maybe. That's usually a good call. I should have probably been there a little bit quicker. Yes, we're now actually dealing quite a bit of damage. But we're also... He's also dealing quite a bit of damage, huh? And we're also dealing a lot of damage here. I think we just win the game. I think we just win the game. So he is building a new, uh, what you call it, a new CC, no, a new, uh, a new Nexus. So that's something we need to keep in mind. A pretty fast blink. Can we just follow this up with a, basically an Immortal all in? I'm not sure if we can actually. I'm gonna try to allow myself to get across the map by sending more adepts around. That's a, it's a pretty wild plan, but it's a plan that might work as well. Okay, so more stalkers coming in. He really has a lot of units, doesn't he? I'm surprised how many units he has. I guess I lost a lot of my initial crap. One, two, three, four, five. He has ten stalkers. We're just gonna be moving forward a little bit. No, I can't because of that. If he hadn't scouted me there, I think I would have been capable of just moving forward a little bit. And we're just gonna send these two adepts in, and hopefully that will allow me to eventually move across the map. Are you really planning on blinking? This is a terrible plan, but this is legitimately a terrible plan gonna need to recall right now if he doesn't have a recall available he's in serious trouble okay here we go just gonna cancel it okay and now we can oh, no gg i was gonna say now we can just shade into the main base and then run away that's always a good move but we killed so many workers with this that it didn't matter 36 to 24 no gg and we're gonna head into our second game I got ourselves another little Protoss player over here. Mindel VK. Always fun to play against you, Mr. Mindel. I think all we want to do here is just go for a cannon rush into Void Real in. But have the cannon rush almost be a fake cannon rush. So the cannon rush is just... It's kind of the way to get to the Void Race stage. And I'll actually... Well, if I can win the game with a cannon rush, I'm not going to say no to it. But we'll take a very... Let's call it a very conservative approach here to the cannon rush, okay? Very conservative approach. So we're just going to start here on the far right side. I haven't been scouted yet, which is honestly a, a god-given gift. Okay. This feels correct. I can wall this. And I can not wall this, but I can maybe stop my opponent from doing anything crazy. How does he see this? Who goes here? What's wrong with these people? I hate losing like this. Well, we haven't lost yet, but we're definitely uh, in the process of it. That's for sure. Oh. Uh, let's see if I can do something over here. Okay. One of these. I, I feel like this isn't necessarily looking so great for us. Maybe I can... Well, this, how many how many workers are, can attack there? Like, maybe two? I'm gonna try and attack my cannon as well. Maybe just letting both of these gateways finish, by the way. It's not that bad of a play. Then, the thing that I could, of course, do... Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is good. This is very big. I wonder if I can actually kill him here. Oh, I didn't quite get that one in. Didn't quite get that one in. Okay, so we're just gonna chrono boost one salad over here. He's building one of these things, what you call that, a cybernetic score. Oh, wait, the cannon stayed alive? What the hell? And now that means we can get a cannon up here as well. We can get a cannon up here, a little bit further forward. Is that in range? That's in range, thank the lord. Thank you so much, my dear friend. Oh, I wanted to, to not do this. Well, that is what it is. I think we can fight this, no? I think we can fight this. Then we get one. A cannon really freaking close. We can start hitting crap. 
I wonder if I can kill this. No, I didn't quite manage to kill this. He's trying his best to clear this cannon, though. Oh, I didn't cancel. That's frustrating. That's really quite frustrating. Oh, we were so close to having that. Um, let's just get this. I think if we just get one more cannon up, though, we're probably just fine. Honestly, we're honestly probably just fine. And one more cannon. So two more cannons, really, total, that is. I'm not sure why I keep saying one more cannon, like it's really just one more cannon. Okay, that thing is going to go up. Okay, one more cannon after here. Like right now, it's one more cannon. This feels right as well. If we can do this, we can. Ah, we lost that. Cybernetic score. Two of these. Let's cancel that. No reason to, to lose anything of value here. We lo he lost one gateway. That's for sure. Okay, he's going to try and clear this, but I'm not going to allow him to do that. I want more gas. I have two gateways on this side of the map. Let's not forget about that. Oh, he thinks he can counterattack here. I think he might be right. I think he might be capable of counterattacking here. Let's get a cannon up. Now we're lacking anything. Like, just a lot of things, really. He's going to go for an more attacks here. Maybe I should cancel this. Go for some of these things. Battery upstairs? Is that going to work? Is that going to be in time? I don't think so. But two stalkers shouldn't be enough, right? Two stalkers just simply shouldn't be enough. Oh, he's not paying attention. That's a huge deal. That's an absolutely huge deal. I wonder if I can do this. Um, should I just recall? Should I recall? Or should I wait? I'll recall. Okay, because then maybe with a bit of help from my friends, I can actually hold this. Even if it's just for a little bit. Like, all I need really is a battery. He has no extra base. That means this is over. It means this is over. 100%. Because there we go. Oh, he's not going to be very happy with this. Oh, what a surround. What a surround, baby. Look at this. Poof. Warcraft 3 player. GG as well. Oppa okay. Beautiful win here. Did get a GG from Windows UK. This was a wild cannon rush because it got started instantly. But I still managed to get it. 22 points in the pocket. And we're going straight into our next game. Actually, let's wait a little bit. Never mind. Let's not wait a little bit. Let's just instantly go here. Do we still have to uh, change the GG counter? Otherwise, I forget again. No, we got him again. Ooh. Whenever we get two people, the same person twice in a row, I always feel like I have to switch it up. It doesn't feel right to do the same thing once more. So we're not going to do that either. Not going to do the exact same thing here once more. What's this guy doing? He's just idling. Okay. Technically allowed. There's no rules against that. Mindel VK always is very mannered. Good lucks every game, GG's every game. I feel like I've played against Mindel VK, an absolute crapton in this series, and he's just one of the players that so consistently does both good lucking or double good lucking and GG'ing at the end of every single game. There's like, I really play like a prick quite a bit, okay? I'm willing to admit that. I play like an absolute dickhead half the time. And I, I, I can assure you that these losses are very frustrating. Yet Mindel VK has the mental power to always keep going. He's also been laddering for, you know, he's, he's been around for a while, I feel like. Um, good mindset. Absolutely powerful mindset. This guy's going to make it far in life. Look at the assimilator. Assimilator actually too late. I messed up my build order, which is sad. Um, I want to get a Stargate. Let's not forget about that. We're going to do the same position as we did in uh, somewhere over there. Maybe not the exact same position, but close-ish enough. That's what we're going to go for here. close -ish enough. Oh, you go here. Hasn't scouted me yet. Probably looking for a cannon rush. Which, you know, definitely allowed. Definitely allowed. I'm gonna just make sure that we have a good setup when it comes to gathering gas, because that's the main resource I care about. We started a little bit late as well with the gas gathering, so we're probably gonna need to be a bit careful with that. Should just build a bit further back? So like right over here. Like the difference there is a couple of seconds, like three, four seconds when it comes to flying, but way less likely it's gonna be found out, which can be a pretty big deal. So, just gonna continue our uh, our air units. You didn't get to see any void rays in that last game, which is obviously what I kind of wished for. Oh, I really want to play my PVT build as well. So after this, I just hope I get a Terran. Oh, I really want to play my PVT build. I, I can't stress this enough how badly I want to play my PVT build. I think it's gonna be epic. I um, probably should have sent this out a little bit quicker as well. Because now I don't think I get a scouting. What I can do is see what the first two units are and then 
maybe try and escape with my worker. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Hard to say. These adapts are going to be quick as well, which is important. Oh, what? He double chronoed. Ooh. It's kind of fancy, isn't it? Double chrono. These are so fast. This is such a fancy approach to, to dealing with uh, what I'm doing here. It's not going to work out because I went for a double adept myself. Got the first shot off there. Oh, we're 100% winning this fight. No, baby. What's up? And now he's going to lose this one as well, I think. Where you at, bud? I think there's a decent chance he's gonna follow this up with an oracle an oracle is only really good if i don't have void rays oh no 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 shot. okay let's move back a bit so he doesn't see me and then we go for the surround with the void ray popping out of this oh my god he gets so unlucky this guy has to be the most unlucky person in the world like legit the most unlucky person in the world. can we get a surround here oh i almost had him i almost had him i basically had him they did. He was right on the way. Um, okay, so where are we at right now? No way. Oh, you can actually do this, right? Ooh. That didn't look so great for me. I also didn't get my next to adapt. Should we just get a Nexus? We should just get a Nexus. We should actually just get an access. What? Hello? This doesn't look good for us. I can't believe how unlucky this guy is and how bad and how good it's still going for him. Wait, did he just play four gate? I think he's just playing four gate. I'm not sure if it's four gate blink or just a regular four gate. Either way, I think I'm in some serious crap. Does he have a battery here? Oh, he does. Then we need to piss off, that's for sure. That's a third gate. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Ah, he deserves this win. If this was a straight-up four gate... It was just a straight-up four gate. I could have still won had I just force shielded this properly. It would have been hard and a long and painful process. So, losing every now and again is okay. He deserves a win as well, every now and again. Okay, now I hope... I really hope for a PvT. I'm praying for it. All right, up next we have a Showtime. So, not a Terran player, just another Toss. It's crazy with how much Protoss players play on the ladder and how little Terrans players play. The Terrans still win all the time. It really makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah, I just <laughs> I don't want to start a balance argument here, but you know the effort that we are putting in as a as a race is much much more than whatever these Terrans are doing. Yeah, I'm not even sure if these Terrans still remember the password to their account. You know, all these guys just playing uh, random different games, like finishing their degrees or something. Ooh, I'll, I'll uh, I'll build it here, actually. This is a high-tier location as well. The reason why this is a high-tier location is because no one usually looks for this particular spot. Because it's so dumb that it becomes brilliant, you know what I mean? Like, this location is so risky that it that you shouldn't put it there. But if you do get to build a robotics facility in this particular position, and, and life's just going to be phenomenal. It's the one thing I can guarantee you for sure. It's the one thing I can guarantee you for sure. Um, good lord, he's harassing a lot. This guy's annoying. Oh, there we go. Just gonna start with double, uh, double stalkers, I think, here. Double stalkers just right into that warp gate. So warp gate a little bit delayed. I actually want to wait a bit with scouting, so he doesn't know I'm this close. Now we're gonna go in. <coughs> Build a pylon as well. And hope he doesn't find it. So if he doesn't move his... Ooh. Should I build this? Yeah, I'll build it. Sometimes they want to hide what they have, you know? It's not Showtime, though. Showtime doesn't want to hide what he has. Showtime definitely didn't want to hide what he has. I'm just going to keep my probe over here. And I hide my stalkers in this general area. So it's a very high tier move as well. Okay, come on. Start the immortal, my dear friend. Because then if he shows up with more crap... I'm gonna be in a six spot. That's the this is a general idea here. Let's see. Do you have a Nexus? Do you dare building a Nexus now? But it is four stalker. He's gonna probably go through the middle. We're gonna surround him, I think. That's gonna be the plan. You 
not actually coming through this area though. I wonder where he is. You think he's on top of this ramp? If he's on top of this ramp, we're gonna kill him. Okay, he wasn't on top of that ramp. If he's down his ramp, we're gonna kill him. He isn't down the ramp. You think we can walk upstairs here? I mean, I don't think we should be capable to, but we're gonna try anyway. That was a mistake, I think. Ooh! Almost had him there. Almost had him there. I want I want immortals. So this didn't go entirely according to plan. Um, mainly because I lost my first immortal practically for free. But maybe our follow-up can be fine. I want to get a Stargate, but that also doesn't feel right. This was such a risky way of doing what I did. But I really like it when I do things in a very risky way. It, it feels good, you know? I don't regret it. I actually don't regret it. I think it was cool. It was a high-tier play. And sometimes in life, all you really need are high-tier plays. You know, you don't need to play perfect. You just need to do things that are cool. Okay, now this guy's about to show up. Ooh, there's his next, uh, his next dude. Should we get a Nexus behind this? I don't think we should. Maybe we should pretend that we have a Nexus behind all this. I don't think we should do that either. I don't think we can even pretend. How do you even pretend that you have a nexus behind all this? That doesn't even make any sense. I wonder if he's gonna try and, and, and find me here. I mean, he's probably gonna try and find me. Let's hope he doesn't succeed. I'm gonna drop in the main, try and snipe the robotics facility. Oh, he's found me. Okay, I think I killed a stalker there. See if we can clear this uh, pylon as well. We definitely can. Killed another stalker. And we get to piss off. Let's just get the Stargate. Or, yeah, let's get the Stargate. Let's get the Stargate, alright. And then I want Adepts. I want Adepts and Zealots. So that I can actually afford stuff from my Stargate as well. Ooh. I wonder if he's planning on, on going around with his own Immortal right now or what the... Like, if I were him, I'd probably be wanting to go around with my Immortal drop, you know? Let's see if we can find him here. Okay, he's not down there. Let's see if we can kill anything here. Okay, he missed the scout. We're gonna get a couple of kills here. That's good. I say a couple of kills, I mean... Eh, three kills, really not bad. So I know that these adepts either have shaded out right now. Or... They just went back home. One of the two options, which, once again, this is not a very revolutionary statement, I just now realized. Um, he did kill some workers here, though, didn't we? Yeah, we're just gonna move around, see if we can get anything done. So I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, he's coming from here, or what? So he has a lot of units back at home, no? And I managed to get this one out as well. I feel like we can... We can probably just move into the main base right now, or at least hold this spot. We can actually hold this spot, I think. We're gonna hold this spot, no matter what he thinks of it. He has no real units here as backup. He's recalling, ain't he? And he's he's moving back. He's okay. Okay, this is our chance. This is our chance because he doesn't have recall right now. He doesn't have recall. He doesn't have recall. I repeat, he doesn't have recall. We're gonna move towards the left. I don't know where he is, though. We're gonna move towards the left. And I hope that we find him. I don't think we're finding him. Oh my god, I can't believe I let him escape. He tricked me somewhere along the way. Oh, dang it. That was darn close though, huh? That was darn close. That was darn close, I tell you. Um, so, these bases are about to run out. What's he doing? What's that? Okay. To me... Oh, I'm about to lose this and I'm not careful. Oh. Even if I am careful, I'm gonna lose that. 
That wasn't quite brilliant. But he can do anything here, huh? Okay, we're just gonna get some good forces in. Move this back tiny to that as well. Not sure if I'm winning. I still have absolutely no clue on whether I'm winning or not. I lost one Void Ray here, which sucked. He doesn't have a Nexus. So really all we need to do is stay alive. But of course we also gotta pretend like we are still pushing. Because otherwise he's probably gonna realize what's kicking off here. Is he still up this ramp? No. I hope he goes back into his main base. That would be good for me. Okay, he's down here. Three, four Immortals or so. I mean, every, every Void Ray that I add in is a it's a good Void Ray, right? Let's get some more of these. Because it allows me to deal more damage very rapidly. So we're just going to go up here. Is he still building air units himself as well, is what I wonder. I wonder if I can kill this. I don't think I can. Yeah. I really wonder what he's planning on doing. All I know is that the longer this game goes, the better it becomes for me. Unless he has like a hidden base somewhere. Which I don't think he has. So then what's the, the play for him? I don't know. Let's just look for that hidden base. Make sure that he doesn't have it. He could be building DTs as well. But that seems fairly unlikely. Yeah, I feel very comfortable here, honestly. Because he has no base. He still has no base. Did I kill it? Yeah, I killed it. I think he might have a... Uh, I think he might have a, a pylon out somewhere. So we're gonna try and find it. Did I lose all my adapts just now? I think I might have accidentally, which wouldn't be good. See if we can move this back. I hope he's gonna try and recall here or what. Oh my god, we're losing. I think we're losing. I'm not sure if we are losing though. So we moved out with all of our dudes and that ends up going wrong i think but he also lost okay, i lost my entire army what did he lose is now the question i wonder if it's just as much i think the answer might be no okay i want more of these i want some batteries i need i need ob uh, not observers what do you call these guys i need uh i need sentries well i needed sentries i think i just win the game anyway he doesn't have enough anti-air. Simply not enough... <laughs> not enough anti-air. Oh! This was a never-ending one base. These are the type of games that we truly live for. And this was even with the idiot move-in. Like, this feels really good. I feel a bit bad for him. Because I executed this relatively well. He just ran up the ramp like an idiot. I saw four stalkers and I prayed there was no sentry there. And I feel like that's good enough. I feel like that's good enough. I killed... So, resource lost wise, at the end of the day here, I just win it, right? Like, I'm, I kill three units, he kills two. That's good for me. That's definitely positive. Yeah. Yeah, no, this was good. This was very good. I think one of the units he killed of mine is probably a, a probe as well. He killed a probe and he killed an, Im an immortal, I guess. That's it. And here, from here now, I actually played well. I'm, I'm happy with my performance. I was in a better spot, but I also played it out properly by just never expanding until I did expand. And then he lost. Beautiful stuff. All right. That's, uh, yeah, let's, let's just let that be it for today. All right, my dear friends. Sadly, no PVT. I really wanted the Tempest Rush against my opponent. But we're not going to get that. So that's going to be it for me today. Thanks all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy this. If you did, don't forget to like button, subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see all of you next time for a new video. Thanks so much. And bye-bye. <laughs>